Hey, hello, what's going on? Welcome to a new video. Hi, my name is Trevor. Nice to meet you, nice to meet you. That's what you get when you come to the video. You get an introduction like we met for the first time. We are in the car again because I am running late per usual and I didn't have time to do an intro in my house. So, we're on the way to the gym. Today's legs, I'm picking up Zeph right now. It's currently like noon. I definitely didn't wake up at 11. I definitely woke up at eight. Uh, AM like a normal person and we're on the way there. I got some exciting news. We're doing our first uh, actual uh, Mods to the Hellcat Red Eye um, It's about to be it's about to be pretty fast. Uh, I just got a build quote for I'm not gonna tell you guys yet for the people that like cars, but it's gonna be we're gonna be on E85 we're gonna be making like maybe like three, four hundred more wheel horsepower. Um, so it's gonna be pretty crazy. But I'm gonna go pick up Zeph and I'll see you guys when we get there. Whew. All right, I think we have a Huracan, his Lambo wants to race me. He's like tailgating me, so let's see. Let's see. Let's see if we can get him. We're at a stop sign right now. If you didn't know, Huracans aren't that fast. <laughs> the Lambo, Lambos are cool. Lambos are really great, don't get me wrong. But in terms of like crazy performance, like in a straight line, they're not that great. He's taking the bait, he's taking the bait. Ah, he doesn't want it, he doesn't want it, he doesn't want it. He's driving really slow now. <laughs> he's gonna pass you right now. <laughs> Let me see what the workout is today. We have squats, zerchers, good mornings, leg extensions, leg curls. We should hit calves. What the fuck did you just say? We should calves. Say that again in my car. Say that again in my car! We should hit calves? <laughs> <laughs> no. There's, there's no music, there's SSB. no music. SSB, squat. His leg hurts. Yeah. Um, yeah, no. sweats and squatting days, weird. Yeah, we get talked during this workout, ready? Oh, parallel. Nice, good, good rep. This is what every session sounds like. Did you just let one, let one rip? Do you squirt? But you can't walk like that with that on your back. Walk backwards. Oh, they can't. <laughs> <laughs> no play. All right, we're doing our first working set. I shouldn't have waited and talked. I should have just did the set. <laughs> Sleeves. I, I got tattoos, so I can't put my knee sleeves on. So, like, the torque in my knees feel a little weird because I don't have the warmth. But we're probably gonna go up. That was really easy. So we're doing four times four, by the way. I didn't know if I told you guys the reps. Um, we bumped it up to like 285 or 295. We don't know how much the bar weighs, so that's just be weigh 55 or 65. But we don't know. Oh, that's kind of heavy. Let's go 65. Yeah, we're gonna go six five. I guess we'll put Zeph in the workout video for once. He's taking forever to go. This is why I don't put them in the videos. <laughs> Sorry, that's all I heard coming out of your mouth. Get better headphones, bro. What? I can hear everything you say. These headphones do suck. They're turned up all the way and I can hear everything. Cool. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I feel like I feel like Whoa, a, I feel, it's I, Trevor. I feel, I feel like a fit chick model. Whoa. We're hitting we're hitting 325 or 335, we don't know.
so mesmerized, bro. I didn't even, <laughs> even look at your depth. <laughs> Trying to get in the zone for this last set. I just spent like 20 minutes picking up Zeph and lunging with him on my back. I didn't film it because I forgot because we made a TikTok. But, oh man. No, I have to lower it. I can't. Yeah, I can. Big brace, only four. Come on. Yep, let's go. Boom. Yeah, picking you up those bunch of times really took it out of me. <laughs> All right, we got Zercher, good mornings. Uh, so basically, uh, good morning movement with a Zercher hold. A Zercher holds from right here. And we have four times eight today. So you wanna pull from your glutes first, your glutes raise, and you go up, like a good morning. So we're supersetting leg extensions with leg curls. I switched shirts because I was sweaty. One, two, five, one, two, three, four, five. Legs are knees. Now we're going hamstring, hamstrings. If we Hot Junior was real, would you go with me? Yeah. For sure. I'm a weenie. Wait, how does it go? I'll probably go to Weenie Hut General. So the... How does it go? How does it go? Five. I'm a goofy goober. I'm a goofy goober. Rah! Dun, dun. Can't do any more. Copyright. Took your car. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> yeah, I can rip this. That shirt? Yeah. No, don't rip it. Oh no, my shirt's dirty. Oh. oh. I beg you, please. <laughs> <laughs> the life of having a sweaty friend. What's that behind you? Oh, a shirt? Because you can't handle your own sweat? I like to play with my belly button. <laughs> your belly button's not even showing. I know. <laughs> don't look at me, bro. I'm not shredded, bro. It doesn't matter, bro. I love your body the way it is. All right, we just got home. It's shake time, so I got this big piece of dragon fruit. I'm gonna throw that in there. I already have some ice in there. Make sure I didn't get that on my white shirt. I'm gonna throw a bunch of baby spinach in there. It's like the only way I get my greens in. Or like put a lot. Two scoops of protein. And then I'm gonna add a lemon in there. Just gonna I'll throw a whole thing in there. Voila, looks good. All right, it's the end of the night. I caved in and I bought crumble cookies and I may have four, have ate four of them. I'm not confirming or denying that I ate four of them, but I'm going to bed. See you guys in the morning. Good night, good night. Hey, hello, welcome to the new day. It is Tuesday and we are not caffeinated and I just wanna do hood rat stuff with my hood friends. Oh no, this looks like a nice little circle area. That'd be a shame if I put them. Alright, 
so we're moving on to the first exercise. We're gonna be doing um, log presses for four, four, two, and two. And I'll record all the sets for you guys so you can see. We're doing the full movement today. We're not doing it from um, a strict press with no leg drive. We're doing full movement from ground up. We're gonna get into it. It's really hot today. I'm really caffeinated. I feel my butthole tingling. Exercise. It's gonna be shoulder press, dumbbell presses. Look at the belt into my stomach though. This is gnarly. We're doing dumbbell presses. We're gonna get into it. Oh, I'm super hot and sweaty. I had to come to the bathroom to film. All right, next what we got, we got side lateral raises and we have face pulls with a chest support. We're just gonna jump into it. I'm feeling pretty swole right now, if I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I'm not doing like bodybuilding stuff right now, but I don't think I look that bad right now. Ooh, patience, this could be the thumbnail. Ooh. My camera almost just dropped. Oh, it's happened again. Please stay, this is some juicy lighting. So we just got done with the workout and I had a mini heart attack because my account on TikTok with like 2.7 million followers got banned during the workout. But they gave it back. Kind of ruined my workout, but it's cool. No biggie. What's going on? Hello, hello, good morning. It's a new day. It is now Wednesday at 3 p.m. We just woke up. Yeah. Seth's here too. I didn't just wake up. I definitely did not just wake up. We're making a shake right now. We have been awake the whole time. We just haven't known what we're gonna film today because it's our rest day. And rest days, all you do is just think about the gym. Gym, gym, gym. So I'm making a shake real quick. It's gonna be two scoops of excellent and then we're gonna get some greens up in there got some spinach this is the only way i get my greens in get some strawberries up in there for some flavor some oh, moldy strawberries how many strawberries should i put do you want a pop tart is there protein in it no you want some fudge cookies yes <laughs> pop off some almond milk that was too much Ooh, look at that perfect pour Do we try to prime? Reaction time. This is not sponsored. Ice pop prime. What is it? It's a Logan Paul drink. What is it for? Like, it's like a Gatorade kind of it, thing? No, it's, like it's a, coconut water. It's just it, like it's for, water. It's for hydration. Oh. It's only 20 calories though. That's really good. Mm -hmm. 
That is really only good. 20 calories. Flavors on point. Get it like a 9.6. Okay, hold on. That's, that, that's excessive. For, for zero calories? It's 20. If you had to put this in my zero to 20 calorie mark, it would be up there. It's like, it's Fair. definitely within the nines for me. Fair. All right, we're going to do another taste test. We have not sponsored. We have a Baja Blast fav flavored uh, energy drink. We're sharing it because we both already had energy drinks today. First off, are you a big Baja Blast drinker? Oh, I love Baja Blast. I love Taco Bell. How much, is, how much caffeine? 200. Is? It's a little flat. It is. It's not as like, I was expecting more. Like the punch of flavor in the prime I just tried compared to this, it's not the same. Yeah, it's kind of flat. It's like, it literally tastes like a Baja Blast if you left it out. If the Baja Blast you ordered came with ice and then the ice melted, I would still drink it. Would I go out of my way to buy it? No, because I think there's better ones out there. I think we both just had something that was way sweeter than this. And that's what's causing this. It's all right. It still tastes good. I like your shirt. I would like it, you too, get it from? but I hate it here. Where'd you get it from? Um, where'd you get this shirt from? I got it from Ross. No, where'd you get this shirt from? Marshalls? My clothing brand. Shameless plug. This is a clothing brand. <laughs> this is brand. Trevor's clothing brand. I hate it here. Yeah. Obviously. By the British RageFam.com. I figured out the first thing that we're gonna do today. I haven't cleaned the Jeep in four months. Bro. We're gonna clean the Jeep. Right, we're getting ready, dude. Can I see your bit? Let me see how beat these are. Dude, they don't make fun of my shoes, bro. Dude, those are really bad. I can just throw them in the washer. Yeah. Dude, check this out. Wait, 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 wait. Check this out. Hold up. Look, look, look. Look, look. Oh, yeah. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> Here you go, dude. You can have these. You can have Wait, really? Yeah. What size are they? I don't know. You don't know what size these are? No. What size shoe do you wear? You have a 16, don't you? You got your big feet. Yeah. You got your no, big they're feet. Not, they're not, they're not. I don't know. Dude, they're 11s? Yeah, I, I think. I, I didn't bought them and I just never wore them. Why don't you like wearing them? Do you want them? Look at the coloration difference. Do you difference. not wear them? No, I don't. You can Why have don't them. you wear them? Because I don't like comms that much. They almost look like my old ones. Yeah. <laughs> five years ago. <laughs> I did buy those five years ago. Do you want them though? Yeah, I do. Okay, but right. you can have them. Let's go. Take those home though. I don't want these in my house. Thanks, man. You made my day. Thank you. All right, so no one judged me on the on the inside I'm about to show you, but like, it is like, I don't know if you can see in the video, but it is, the car is extremely dirty. Let me show you guys the inside. Oh, f that is actually looks really bad on camera. Oh, I'm so bad. excited to clean your, your okay. Jeep. So excited to clean your Jeep, dude. Let's do a before and after. So that was before and one, two, three, four, 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 four. bro, where'd you get this sick fanny pack? Yo, it's a sick shirt and a sick fanny pack. I know, bro. If only I had a hat to match my swag. I don't have a hat. The Jeep has been cleaned. Now we go wash. Oh, dude, where'd you get those sweats dude, I'm from? Swagged out, bro. Oh, let me get the side. Just, Whoa, where'd you get those sweats? From? Um, where'd you get? Where'd you get that hat from? <laughs> I forgot it was on my head, bro. It's it's from uh, RageFam.com. Is that your whole fit? The new come up, man. I'm swagged out. Oh. I'm swagged out. All right, we just got to the car wash, so we'll do a cool little B-roll of us washing the Jeep. Surprise Zef day. I'm getting Zef's blood work done for him because he's been wanting to for a long time. So I'm gonna pay for his blood work. You don't have to. Oh, it's Mr. Trevor now. Yeah. I guess I'm getting my blood work done too. I have a hairline, so I know I'm good. It means your testosterone's low and your wow. blood is blood is uh, great, really healthy blood. 114 over 108? Bro, you should definitely That's not, get it's that. not even finished yet. You, you should get that checked you out. Let it finish. It's not 108. <laughs> good thing we're here. It wasn't 108. Well, we're gonna find out if Zeph has the test of a little baby or a grown man. Or enough white blood cells. Or prostate. They check your prostate too. That's good. So I've been having issues lately, bro. Poopy? Yeah. Wait, what is a prostate? <laughs> hey, hello. It's a new day. Good morning, good morning. 
It is Thursday afternoon and we are here at the gym. We're about to get a good lift in. I need to be better about recording stuff after past 6 p.m. because I literally don't do anything besides stream and it's all I do. So then I don't feel anything because I forget and I don't even say goodnight to you guys sometimes. So I'm Sorry, but we're putting up the Jeep right now to deadlift the Jeep. So we're gonna do that right now. We're gonna set it up. I'll put a little, I'll put the tripod down so you guys can watch. Okay, we could not do the Jeep. It was too hard, a back and front, so we switched to a Prius, but we put it in the front, so I'm gonna be lifting the engine part. Hey, hello. It's Friday. It is Friday. Hey, hello. Good morning. I forgot to record again. I didn't record a good night message. I'm sorry. But we go and hit chest right now. Think of my keys. I'm going to hit chest. I didn't really do anything when I came home yesterday, so that's why I forgot. <laughs> I can record me just like sitting in my room doing nothing. If you guys want that. <laughs> That sounds so nice, but we're gonna go ahead chat to go pick up Zeph and we're gonna go kill it. Zeph, can you show me what you just showed me? Yeah, it's a- uh, This is a new stretching method. This is very optimal. Nice, good stretch, bro. <laughs> we just got to this gym. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're trying to hit chest. Keyword trying to hit chest. So we're gonna do some warm ups. Check there's not, there's not. Oh. Eh, it's like a donkey kick. So there's not a lot of people in the gym. So I'll just walk you guys through a couple warm up things. And we talked today, which is nice. I have to talk really close to the mic because there's this big fan in the background and I know it's huge. So you can use a PCV pipe and as most gyms have these, but we're using this bamboo stick. Um, I have bad shoulder mobility, so we're gonna start farther out and you're just gonna go and all the way around. What are these called? Shoulder circles? I don't know. So I'm gonna do about 10 back and forth to get them warmed up. And then you're gonna go from the back and go over and then back. I'm gonna do 10 on each side too. So mobile, you're so flexible. I mean, the grip isn't really optimal where I'm at. You wanna move your way in the more you get loose up because you should be able to do it. You should be able to do it like right here. That's as far as I can go though. All right, what's next? What, what warm up? Oh, we're saying we're saying bang these out, okay? Yeah, yeah. Keep yeah. warming up, because I'm already warm. Huh? I'm already warm, let's go bench. That should be enough, you're good to go. That's not enough to go. That's good, bro. That's not, that's not enough. So now we're gonna get the Stretching's shoulders, we're gonna get, shut up. We're gonna get the, 
<laughs> Actually, dynamic uh, static stretching before workout sometimes can be bad, but that's besides the point. So now we're gonna get into some banded work to get the shoulders warmed up. So we're just gonna get some shoulder motion going. Some Arnold press with some really light weight. You know what's a better warm up? Holding this camera for you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now we're gonna get the lats stretched out real fast because when you're pressing, you're gonna be using a lot of your uh, your lats are gonna engage when you uh, tighten down to get your upper back on the the bench. You're gonna be tight, and you want your lats activated. So you can do like pull ups. You can do a lot of different things to activate your lats. Um, I just like to do a stretch with like a, an activation movement. I actually learned these from Zef. He actually gives out good information sometimes. So what I'm gonna do a little different is I'm gonna tie this around my wrist so it takes out my hand so I won't use the, uh, my biceps and my forearms. And you're gonna pull, and you're gonna pull, and like bend it, and you're gonna get a whole stretch through right here in your front lat. And then you're just gonna, from your elbow, so when you take out the holding part, you're not gonna use your bicep or any part of your arm and you're just gonna push through your elbows down. And when you take out your hand out of the motion and you just tie it around your wrist, you're not gonna get activation as much in other parts. So you can really just focus on your lat. And it's gonna be good for your shoulders too. You're getting pushed back and your lats are getting pushed into place. Um, so you can actually get activation in your back and so you're not rolled forward or your shoulders are pushing over. Um, <sighs> So you can actually get your chest activated, your lats activated, and you're not just pressing all with your front delts and then your rib opens up too, which is nice. Cause if you have a tight rib and you're like this and you're pressing like this, you're gonna use a lot of shoulders and that's when people hurt their shoulders or tear their bicep or tear their chest. And then you're gonna get some rear delts and upper, upper trap activation. Trying to catch a bear? Huh? You trying to catch a bear in the woods? Yeah. Traps. This is gonna be I good. Need swole, bro. Hey, do I really? Mm hmm The shirt. Uh, this is gonna be good activation because when you're when you're pressing, you're gonna essentially you're gonna push forward, and you're pulling the weight to you, and you're keeping the tension. So when you push back up, you're in the same position. You're not supposed to come forward like this. You're always supposed to be pushed upright, pull down and you're going back up for the activation of your chest. Of course, you're gonna tweak it a little bit if you're doing bodybuilding, but for strength especially, that's when you see people get really big arches to eliminate the range of motion, but also when all the pressure's on your upper back, and that's where it's supposed to be, because if you put it on your lower back, you'll have pain, and then um, it's gonna hurt. When you guys overly stretch before workout, your muscles are like this, right? You overly stretch them, and now when they come back to normal, they're loose, and they don't have as much stretch reflex. This is like a, you know, this is like how most people bench, right? You wanna get your scapulas pinched together, the arch oh, in the back, the arch. and then you're, you're here, and you're loading those lats like Trevor was talking about, creating tension across the chest. When you unrack the bar, the weight over your shoulders, you can hold it up here, you can hold the most weight. But when you actually get pressing, it's gonna look like it's gonna come down to your sternum and then it's gonna press back up to that same Show them leg drive. So it looks like, I guess we should do this on a bench. Probably, but it's, <laughs> but it's like you're, you're loading, 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 and then you're pressing with your legs into your traps and it should like launch the bar backwards almost. So it's loading this way and pressing back towards you. So the bar path isn't straight up and down, the bar path actually comes like that. Like, tell like tell them why we, we, we work out the lats and get the lats warmed up for de-racking uh, de the weight. Yeah, it's just, well, I mean, for, for most it's people- It's basically like, a front lat movement to get the bar out yeah, of this fucking thing. Yeah, the bar's like here, so you're pressing, you're just locking your elbows out, and then the bar's coming over like this, so you're basically using your lat to, to get the bar over yeah, your off shoulders. Motion watch. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Quick, 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 quick. Same, same clip, same clip, same clip. Do the same motion with this rope so they can understand. So this is the same motion. When you unrack the weight, you're gonna pull it towards your chest and you're, this is your lat activation. So you're here, it's the bar's on, boom, bar's there. Activation of the lat. And then that's when your lat's activated 
You push. <laughs> <laughs> Was it hot in here, bro? Coming dude. to Juju, you lost your hair. Oh my god! Dude, the warm-ups just literally. Where'd your hair go? It burned it Where'd off. Where'd your bro. hair your go? Warm-ups are so fire, Where'd it just singed off. You're right. If you see it shaking. And that makes it harder with stability because when you're pressing, you have to hold it upright more. And if you shake, it'll just make the imbalances a little bit harder and make it a lot easier to press. But I like the movement. Wow, this looks kind of hard. So you see, I'm engaged in my lats, my legs are tight, and I press. I'm tight. I'm not just flat like this. I'm, so let's see, look, when I press like this, I'm pushing my shoulders forward. But when you're locked, legs are tight. Ah. Hey, yo. second start this and then just stop it the minute I put the seven. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. So we got incline necks with dumbbells. When I tell you all dumbbells are not made equally, these things feel like bricks. These are the weirdest dumbbells I've ever trained with in my life. They're just metal and just weirdly shaped. And these 70s feel like hundreds. Like if it was a normal 100, like that 70 right there, show them that 70 right there. If that was a 100, then this is what this is. They're so just dumb. But you gotta do what you gotta do. This is all we have. So basically he's inclining 100s right now. Basically. Basically. If, it, if there's music in the background, someone started playing music, I have to put music over the workout. We're doing chest flies. If not, we're cool. If not, I don't know.
good morning. I'm so sorry. I tell you guys every day that I'm gonna film a nighttime stuff, but I just, I forget. If I, maybe, if I, maybe if I had a father figure, I wouldn't lie. I, maybe I wouldn't forget, you know, like coming home after you go eat the milk. But we're at the gym right now. I'm already doing warm ups. We are strongman day today. You can't see me. We're doing strongman day today. How are we liking the beard? How are we liking the beard? But we're gonna get to it. We're starting off with yoke walks, yoke carries, yoke. Whatever, I'm so I'm so drained right now. I had to eat my f cereal with no milk. I had no milk this morning. We're gonna get started, and I think we get talk today during our workouts, which would be cool. Let me show you guys a little trick. If you don't know how to put knee sleeves on, I got you. So you're gonna pull them up. You're gonna get them right here. So you're gonna fold it down. You're gonna pull it up. You're gonna pull the bottom part over. You're gonna sit down. You're gonna get it up your calf by pulling the front part. And then you just grab it underneath, just bring it up. And fold the top part over. And bam. Uh, we got, so it's 410, 20, 30, 40, 50. This is my second set. Zeph did a set with this. We're about to pop it out. Should be pretty light. Uh, this is about, this is a little more than half of what the comp weight is. And we're only going, we're doing five times 25 feet. So not too far, just really heavy. We're gonna go really heavy today. Uh, I'll probably jump into like 600, maybe 700. <sighs> yeah, we do yoke carries too. When you're finishing, a lot of people like to stop, but it's just like you're doing, uh, if you were in a, uh, a track meet, you run through the line. So you would run through it and you should still have momentum when you get out of the bar. But it feels pretty light. That felt really good. So I'll probably be in the 700s today. We'll see how it is. I, Zef could probably, I think Zef's gonna be like high fives. Like 590 would be sick. So how do you feel about that? 590? I don't know, every every that, round I add is something new for me. So. Yeah, this is his first time. He hurt his hip the, his, uh, first week, the second week. Yeah, the second one. He hurt his, that, that video when he stopped lifting is because he hurt his hip because he caved on accident because these are new for him. He never done these before. And no, it's, a, gonna, no, gonna it's a big bar too. So like when you're walking with it, there's a lot of compression going on in your spine and your knees, you don't bend them. You don't, you don't want to like bend them like you're walking because then your hips will give. Yeah, and I got them weak knees though. Yeah. Especially when around you. Oh, dude. Ooh, come on, stay tight. Come on, big steps. Quick feet, quick feet. <laughs> it's heavy, bro. The jump. Motherfucker. Come on, finish it out. Finish it out. <laughs> Stay tight. Stay tight. Stay tight. So you guys see how he was wobbling around? That's when your hips start going. It's it makes me like, yeah. like buckle. Go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, felt good. I also started having some feet displacement. I wait in front of the, that's, don't ever do that when you're going, if you're walking. You wanna say side by side, do never cross like this, cause that's when you fall, and I did that. We got 610, should be pretty easy. Uh, I'm not what too worried. It again? It's 610. I'm double belting up for this. Um, if you guys don't know what this is, this is not a waist trainer. This is um, a double belt. It's a soft belt underneath your main belt to add more pressure to your overall bracing of your core. So basically what it does is you put it on and when you put your other belt on, it stabilizes your whole entire core, um, which is nice. Uh, let's go. Come on, fucking light. Go. Give it. Go. Go. So we changed it to the blue one, which is unloaded is 550. So that was a 710 walk. It's pretty close to comp weight. This one's just a lot sturdier and heavier, but the bar unloaded is 540. So it's kind of, you either just send it and do that, or you warm up with the black one, and which is like 210, 220. And then you send it, but we just sent it. Um, I have one more set with the 700. We're gonna get to it. Brace, go. Go! Come on! 
Get there. Get there. Get there. Get there. That was really hard. You know what else is hard right now? Me after watching that. The viewers? That. <laughs> All right, so we're on to the next exercise. Uh, this is a carry movement. So for the event, we have sandbags to keg to fire extinguisher carries. And this is a replicate a fire extinguisher. Um, it's like a cross kind of. If you ever, it's not like a fire extinguisher, like outside fire extinguisher. It's kind of like a cross. And this is the only thing that like a holding position would be to mimic it. We have 10 sets of 25, of, I mean of 50 back and forth. Uh, picking it up, putting it down, picking it back up. For this, off the ground, you're gonna lean it forward a little bit because you need to get into an optimal position. You're gonna grab it with your forearms, kind of like a stone would be. You're gonna bring it close to your chest. You're gonna get your hips raised like RDL and pick and then run. That's hard today, guys. We're getting gooey today. We're bringing out the gooey stuff. We got stones next. First off, we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna settle something real quick. Will you hit me with rock, paper, scissors real quick? Rock, rock paper, paper, scissors, scissors shoot. shoot. Rock, paper, paper scissors, scissors, shoot. Ha. Ah, it's one out of three, always. Okay. You never just do one in one out. Okay, okay, okay. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. <laughs> it's, it's, it's 10 times two, Imam. So you go first. Oh. Well, I wanted to lose then. If you don't know what this is, this is called tacky. And tacky is used for putting it onto your forearms. And so you get really, oh, look how gooey that is. Def's gonna have a fun time with this. Yeah, this is horrible, dude. It's like yeah. hot glue. Yep. Yep. Ow. It's not even sticking to me. That's how like wet I am. There we go. Make yeah. sure you dry off your arms first. Oh, okay, you should have done that. I hate this. The tack is not helping at all. It made it worse. I didn't need to tack to this wall. It's too much. It hurts so bad, dude. I can't hit it. Now we remove the tack. Let's go get a paper towel. It's like an oil-based compound. That needs to go down. That's way too high. This is gonna suck. You know what to party. You know how to dance or act naughty. This is how you get injured at the gym. This is 100%. Ooh, I'm like one of those elephants on the ball. In like circuses? Yeah, that's exactly. Are you also scared of mice? Yes, I am. Ah, thank you, crap. I literally that for everyone. Boom. Working on a ball, working on a ball. So that upping the weight, like watch, if you guys, I don't know if you can see in the video, but watch how his arms and how he clears it so much easier than me, like his setup. Let's go. Big hug. Oh, is that even been broken? No? No, that's not broken. You with the belt? No, no. Let's try again. <clears throat> Let's go. Oh, oh. Rock style, pick move. Hey, All the kids that hate you as a kid. <laughs> oh, shit, all right. <laughs> they still hate 
Who <laughs> <laughs> should I hate you? Stone pick jutsu. Maybe it's a mind game and like they can get a bigger one than this and then go back to this one. <laughs> yeah. What's going on guys? It is currently 1 a.m. I just got finished getting some new tattoos. I uh, got a full metal alchemist tattoo. Uh, I have uh, Mustangs on my head. Sorry, I'm so tired. I literally got, and I got a berserk tattoo too. Uh, I don't want to pull my leg back up, but training today was really hard. After we really left the gym, like, let me see if you guys can see it. Like my whole entire leg is like just destroyed. Like this is when the time when people either quit or give up on doing a meet. But I'm going to bed. This is gonna be the end of the actual video. Same thing, I'll see you guys on Monday. Thanks so much for watching. Everyone that comes to the YouTube videos, it means a lot. And I do appreciate you guys so much. I hope you guys get some kind of value out of these videos and it changes or helps out or it's just entertaining to watch. And that's what I strive for. So good night, good night. I will see you guys next week. Well, Monday, tomorrow for me. But next week for you guys, you sexy mother <laughs> Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. I'm gonna find you. Me and my lazy eye are gonna find you. You don't want that. Good night, guys.